Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, I'm not sure if I should be taking this on uh, this time of night, but I figure I'll take one shot at it and see how it goes. This guy can be pretty dangerous and I can't really bring Gao. I mean, I could bring Gao, but then... Actually, I could have brought Gao in the first place. I'm an idiot. I round down the level averages, so Sam would have still joined at level 7. Oh well. <laughs> I suppose this will be a more interesting fight then. I hit the boss before I hit the save point. Dang it, worst opening possible. Oh shoot, that wasn't Mog either. Phoenix down. Mog is the only person who can tank a rage with his uber magic defense thanks to that Aegis shield that I very recently said that I wasn't sure if I'd even get any use of, but apparently I am getting use out of it, so it's coming in handy after all. Alright, see let's see, is it you that I messed up the cursors for? No, it's not. Scrolling up too worked pretty well there. Actually, I could have scrolled either direction too. It's all the same in these menus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gotta get that damage off as fast as possible with him. Healed Mog up to full because he's my only character who can tank a rage. Dang it, Gogo died again. Phoenix down, on back on Gogo. Was that his actual turn too? Because I'm surprised Mog gotta go in there. Wait, what? Oh, that must have been an, his actual turn and he attacked Mog. Well then I just wasted Mog's turn. But now, Gogo might be dead. Or maybe I'm making the same mistake as before. Who knows? Gogo definitely dodged something. I didn't hear a step mine in there, so I guess Gogo really did die that time. Let's revive Saturn. And have Go-Go throw in another thing. If he connects with three step mines, the uh, dragon might as well throw in the towel. Yep. That's it. Because now he goes into his second phase, which doesn't have ra rage. It just has that cyclonic attack that I just got hit by, and that's no biggie. Let's find that uh, item menu. There we go. Potion yourself. Do you have a magic menu? Yes, you do. I don't think Savin will quite get the finisher. He'll need two hits to finish. But if Gogo punches here, Sabin might get the finisher, so then he'll at least contribute something. On other runs, he's con no, probably not now. Probably just got counterattacked. On some runs, on I did like two or three test runs, and on one of them, Sabin contributed substantially, but he never did on any of the other ones. So, so that's the Storm Dragon. Uh, required a little bit more than the uh, just have Gogo blow them away with step mine. I mean, that was kind of still most of the plan, but... That's weird. I didn't even take a step. <laughs> I guess I must have somehow ran into the encounter at the exact same time at ta uh, exact same time I walked onto the save point. Well, uh... That's a pretty short segment, actually. <laughs> Four minutes and twenty seconds, but whatever. Actually, on second thought, you know, I'll just finish this segment right here, right now. Don't... I'm not gonna leave the Storm Dragon as his own segment, because that was honestly pretty short. Even if it was a little bit more interesting than the much longer Chatternook battle, where I pretty much couldn't die. Here I had to actually put some thought into it, because otherwise Rage just wipes my party, and Mog can't take everything by himself. 
Alright, so up, right, and down to get onto the staircase here. But this is absolutely unjustifiably short for a segment, and it's the only part left of Mount Zozo, so otherwise it would just be by itself. It's a stupid little one minute thing. So now I reach the bottom of this bridge here, go all the way to the right. down one left now I line myself with myself up with the uh, bridge here so now I can go around in another C shape back the other direction an actually properly oriented C down and now I go right and now I'll be two steps away from the entrance to the staircase so one, two, all the way down to the bottom. This segment just seems to be continuing with the theme from the first. Line myself up with, though not quite as much, so just line myself up with the lo longer routes and then just hold the button for a while. So now I should be out on the cliff face. If I'm not, well, I'm probably just going to finish this tomorrow, but down, right, otherwise I have to go around that cliff face. Oh man, there's cut off on that doorway there. This hack will not be accepted by SuperMarioWorldCentral.net. Up to the top. And now I ironically go down after I just went up. It's kind of weird how that works out sometimes when I go into these doorways, but... It's kind of counterintuitive to be walking back the same direction you came, and it wouldn't normally be something you'd really do outside of this run. Right? And now this segment's pretty much over, or it's uh, not going to be over for a long time. There's that music change. Now I wait a while for this cutscene to blow through, because there's really nothing left for me to do. Because all I'm doing is warp stoning out of here, so... Hello, Cyan, with your theme song, that's pretty awesome. How are you doing today? I'll get a musical cue when I get out of this cutscene, so I don't even need to menu trick, just mash on through. But there's quite a bit of eventing here going on with him grabbing all the flowers and stuff, so... It'll be a few seconds. But even still, this shouldn't be more than, like three or four minutes long, so this entire thing, Storm Dragon included, is going to be like ten minutes. Alright, I think we're getting close to the end now. Well, it gave the song enough time to loop, I guess. Alright, Cyan. Ready to be done this segment now. <laughs> you can stop cutscening. There we go. I have now reacquired a cyan. I'm still in the save because I obviously didn't need to mess around with anything after the last segment because, well, except putting the Moogle charm back on Mog. He had the white cape to give him a bit of a bonus on stuff, but that probably made no difference whatsoever. See you next time. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that.